is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. In 10 years time, what I would like to say is in 10 years, here's what I would like to do. And this is truthful as of now, and this could change overnight because how many times over the years has this changed because of some crazy shit that happens to me, right? I would like, DSP Gaming to at least get some prominence back. And what I mean is, I don't expect this channel to have giant growth, but I would hope that through dedication and hard work, over the next five to ten years, I can make DSP Gaming a place to come to chill and enjoy games again. It's a joke. Alright, it is. Now, eventually, what I would like to do is branch out from just being a gamer and do some other things. Maybe I could have a, sh a channel that's just talk. All we do on the channel is talk. It could be about so many various different topics, things going on in the world. But yes, politics, religion, news, other things like that. Lives for Soul to me, $4.20. It says, what would be the starting salary for a DSP assistant? I don't know. I never thought about it. In, in reality, many, 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 many years ago, when I first started as a full-time YouTuber, that first year, 2011, I still had some contact with some of the office workers who I had still been, had worked with at that helicopter company. And there were one or two people who I was still friendly with and I would chat with every once in a while. And one of them was actually like, man, I hate this company. I want to get out because it's falling apart. Since you got laid off, everything's terrible and more people are getting laid off and I got to get out of here. And when I told them what I did for a living, I'm uploading videos to YouTube full time. They were like, hey, how much money do you make? I was like, oh, you know, like three times more than what I was making at the company. And they were like, what the fuck? Really? I was like, yeah, I make a ridiculous amount of money just uploading videos to YouTube. It's stupid. And he... He frivolously spends crazy amounts of money. To, I'm some kind of a crazy addict. And that I sit around spending money on mobile games constantly. And that's why I had to declare bankruptcy. Okay. And so they asked me, they were like, do you need any help with that? Or is there some way I could get in on it? I said, if you want to get in on it, it's, you know, it's tough because you got to find a niche. You got to find some people want to watch videos on. And when I explained to them my creative process and the things that I did, they were like, fuck that. I don't want to do that. But they were like, hey, can I help you with your job? Is there anything that's like tedious or bad about your job that maybe I could throw, you know, I could work an hour or two a day and you could throw me an extra few extra bucks. And at that time, I actually, uh, I actually thought about the possibility of hiring someone as a part-time worker to do the mass uploads that I used to do. If you remember, one of the biggest hassles of being a YouTuber back in the day was that you could only upload like 10 to 15 minute clips. Now I'm recording six to seven hours of gameplay a day. You know how many clips that was to upload in a day? Having to individually number and do all that shit. Now keep in mind back then, I didn't do custom thumbnails. I didn't actually name the video specific things. So it was a little bit easier then, but basically it was a ton of busy work. And by the way, back then, this also was an issue. Unlike today, admittedly, YouTube has dramatically improved when it comes to the uploading of videos. You can just set them all up, put the data on them, and just leave them be and trust YouTube to work. Usually it works ten, nine times out of ten. Your videos are going to upload fine, no issues. You can Now they've actually improved it in the last couple of months. Now you can actually set up your videos to use the same data as a previous video in a series, which is awesome because now you don't have to reset up everything. You're just selecting previous data and just individually maybe naming, the, okay, this is part 10, this is part 11. And you, you yes, you can change the thumbnail or whatever to be the, the current thumbnail. You can even set it up to, to auto add to the playlist when it goes live now too. Admittedly, YouTube fixed a lot of things and improved a lot of things in the last six or so months to make uploading to the channel or to the, uh, the website way easier, which I'm very pleased. As a content creator, that was actually direct improvement that I haven't seen the likes of in years and they actually improves a lot of shit, okay? But back then, you're talking, you know, 12 years ago, it was, it was like a nightmare. Oh, I want to upload 40 videos today. It, no exaggeration, it would take you an hour and a half to set them up. Because each one had to be set up individually, copy and pasting data, half the time there'd be errors and shit. Then when the, once they go live, then you have to add them to the playlist. You had no ability to add them to a playlist early. You couldn't even add a thumbnail to a video early. You couldn't do anything. Everything had to manually be done after the fact. So it was a ton of work. What the fuck? I'm very sedentary in my lifestyle. And I considered hiring someone as a part-time worker maybe, you know, a couple hours a day, can you upload the videos, babysit them, and check everything to make sure they work? Oh my god, he's drinking gin! Yes! Mmm! Mmm! 
interestingly enough, it never came to fruition. Um, I just always have been a one-man show, and I do all the work myself. No one has ever helped me with, with uploading or anything like that. It's always been all on me, so. Clay JT says you should take a shot of whatever alcohol you want for each tip goal we achieve. No, that would be terrible. <laughs> that would be an awful idea. Terrible, awful, no good, very bad, unhealthy idea. No, sir, I don't like it. How you zoom in? There you go. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did it completely by accident. Oh, my God. I'm a fucking idiot. I totally messed up. And Phil's the lol cow of the gaming community. Lol cow, lol cow. And then I just received a $40 tip from Ropenel. So, thank you for that. We're now already all the way up to $84 of tips. Let's get the glasses on. I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look. It's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Headshot. That was a headshot. I can't even see. I need to heal. How do you heal? I actually have no idea how to heal. Uh, medkit. Now, how do we use this? I don't, I don't know how to use it. How the fuck do I use it? Right? Down? No. That's a grenade. What's this? I pulled out my handgun. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know how to heal. I couldn't heal. Right bumper? Okay, it's right bumper. Thank you, guys. What the hell are idiots spamming for and saying pre-recorded stream? Z Xavier did a super chase. People are saying it's pre-recorded because you're not interacting. It's because I'm playing the game. You may not realize this, but a game like this, you actually have to, like, pay attention to and concentrate. Because if you don't, you get fucked. There's nothing worse than getting fucked by a bunch of Nazis, just so you guys know. Here we go. There's an idiot trying to distract me from enjoying the game. Fuck off. Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. Well, I guess we'll save up here. So that's that's Sniper Elite 4. And basically what it is, it's a slow-paced, challenging game. Scoping out your enemies, getting the stealth kills, going for the headshots, and going for the big combo explosion kills and things like that. Um, it's, I would say it's fun. It's definitely fun. And it's something that I would be interested in. Uh, you know, checking out in the future if you guys are interested in it too. But just so you know, I mean, you, you just saw from the first hour. This is very, very, very attention demanding. You know, I'm not paying attention at all moments at what I'm doing. They can see me, they detect me, and immediately my cover's blown, and that's the end. So I have to be paying attention constantly because it's funny because there's people here in the stream chat freaking out saying, Phil, we're trying to get your attention. Phil, we're trying to have conversations. Phil, is this being recorded? Phil, what's going on? Guys, I'm playing a very attention-grabbing game. You see that? This is a game where I would have to, if I played it, played it further, I'd have to be paying attention to it most of the time, okay? Oh my god, he's drinking gin. This ain't no Skyrim. This isn't one of these games where I could be messing around and basically chilling with you guys and having a fun conversation. It's really more about <clears throat> being hyper-focused on the game, you see? So just so you know, if we do continue this, that's the kind of playthrough it's going to be. Here we go. Oh god, I'm falling off the edge. Fishy foods. Alright, I guess I could just hit the rug now, right? Probably pad it. Oh, it's- Oh! Whoa, 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 Oh, no! Oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh! Oh god, oh god. Oh boy. Oh, shit. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh! So if I'd gone that way, oh god. Maybe some jungle adventure, oh yeah. Same premise. Oh wait, oh! Thanks to everyone chilling with me and everyone enjoying and everyone who's contributed, I really appreciate it. We are $29 away from a vest. It would be nice to have a vest for the last segment of the stream, but uh, I'm not gonna ask for anything more. You guys nice. are an amazing audience and very Don't supportive. Don't make me run! Beggar e-begging. Oh, he flipped it. He flipped. You ass. The wrong way to go. Wait, oh, I'm stuck. Down. No! I'm getting pulled towards the yeah. Got a fish. I got pulled towards the rocks. I couldn't do it. Man, this, this is so annoying. Cool. This is very annoying to try to figure this out, man. Now I'm stuck. Look. Come on. Come on. There's the bread right there. Son of a bitch. You're going, oh, see, you're going uphill. When you're going uphill, you just lose all momentum. He immediately grabs you. Yep, can't do that. So, where do I want to go? Oh, uh huh. Look at this. All right. We're gonna go for a ride. Woohoo! Wait, no? You died? I. How did I die? What the? I have no idea how I died there because I, I landed perfectly, but okay, I died. Oh, oh! <laughs> how convenient that there was another fishbowl lined up right there, huh? Pretty damn convenient. Wait, oh! Yeah, I'm a gamer! Oh god, no, 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 no
quarter. Thank you, Squirrel. Are you a chicken thief? Come on, man. And there I go. On the edge day. Wow, it's hard. I'm going. <laughs> oh, man. I almost made it. I'm dead. I can't stop it. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was interesting. This game is very unique, right? Very unique, very interesting. And again, this is me trying out a game totally different from something in my comfort zone because it was on Game Pass. I hope you enjoyed me checking out I Am Fish. If you like it, let me know. Leave a comment about it, like the video. I may continue this playthrough in the future as a chill late night playthrough, considering that it's so unique, right? So I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed it. And uh, let's see what happens. Thanks for watching, everyone. And thanks for the support, everyone. Was here live on the stream. Yo, I need a break. I seriously need to take a break. I can't stand these people. Some of these people are so stupid. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. Ha ha ha!